to the dial-up chronicles so I'm on my computer here running Windows 98 plus or Windows 98 or some kind of Windows and I haven't run this computer in a while and I'll show a picture of it it's a uh, the tower later but uh, I was trying to start Juno let's see but when I tried to start it it doesn't want to work. So that's the bad thing about not running a computer after a while, just things don't work. And I mean, you can fix it, but I thought it'd be fun to try my brand new Juno CD. It's not really brand new, but it was actually mailed to me by Juno uh, sometime last year. And you get this CD when you subscribe to Dial Up Internet today, right now. Here's uh, the package it came in, and I got it mailed in, and uh, it has like a nice letter and stuff, which I did on another video, which I'm not going to bother with right now. But we're going to put this in there, and we're going to see if we can run brand new Juno Dial Up Internet on an older computer. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. Hopefully it should just pop right off. Okay, you hear it? Here it goes. Okay, we don't want the free game, so we'll just do Juno. And we're gonna hit next and hit I agree. And it's gonna install the new Juno. Because we have to surf the web with Juno dial-up internet for the modern times. Or the modern man. Okay, please wait while setup is loading. Unpacking data. It's unpacking. Really sorry about the screen today. Oh, it's verifying installer. One day I'll get an actual camera where I can adjust the frames per second and all that so it works correctly okay here we go juno the license agreement oh my goodness look at all this stuff i'm agreeing to i agree in uh oh install okay there it goes Freezing up. Part of installation is temporary freezing of the computer. Whoa. I'd expect it. I might have to enter, uh, install a different one. I have a second CD. So let me try another one. actual case with these CDs so here's the one I installed here's the one I'm going to install Hit enter. okay I think we got something working which is good just missing a huge chunk of the screen and there it goes Okay, <laughs> I'm glad I had two of those. Okay, installing Juno. Setup was not completed successfully. See, I had a bunch of attempted installs here. Oh, here we go. Juno setup wizard. Ooh, enable free Juno toolbar. Okay. Here we go. 
That was interesting. Okay. It's executing C program files. I can't tell if that blue bar has moved at all. Can you? <laughs> oh, I can. Juno version 8.0. The final and most sophisticated version ever, 1995 through 2009. Up to 2023, it just doesn't say it. Juno Internet. Okay, the brand new Juno. Let's see if I double click this and see what happens. Here we go. Okay. Dial up Chronicles. Thanks to you guys who send me emails every now and then. Appreciate it. Oh. Hit continue. Mute modem speaker. We don't want to mute the modem speaker. Continue. dialing Juno. password are being verified so it did actually get contact into the number and now it's logging me into Juno how cool is that okay Ooh, I'm a new user I get America online no I don't want to use CompuServe now we used to have CompuServe so it thinks that I need CompuServe still okay now hopefully it'll find the right number. That's American Online, which I still have, of course. Because none of these numbers work. For some reason. Even though they should. So we'll just try them all. I don't know if any of these will actually work though, so that's the only problem. It's not finding the number I'm looking for. Warning, the use of some of the following telephone numbers may result in long distance charges. In selecting your access numbers, please note that although an access number may be in your area code or located in your general geographic region, it may not necessarily be a local number for you. You may incur substantial telephone charges if you choose access numbers that are not covered by your local calling plan urge you to check with your telephone company to find out which numbers are local for you before using a number from the list. I think only two of these are actually local to me, even though they all have the same area code. Uh, oh, excuse me. Um, I'll just hit accept for now. And hit connect and see if it works. Prepare dialing.
connection. Hey, it looks like it's working. Your member and ID password are being verified. Oh, thank goodness for Juno. Just had Thanksgiving and I'm thankful for Juno and for dial up internet. Because I don't know what I would do without it. I guess I would use regular internet that everybody else has used, that broadband thing that people use. It looks like we are connected. They want me to go to CompuServe again. Ooh, we get the Juno box. You are currently online. So I did use this CD before on a laptop, like a more, a newer computer, still old, but newer than this. So, hey, this is pretty cool. Okay, it's automatically putting up um, Internet Explorer. And I guess it's gonna connect me to the Juno homepage, which I don't think it's gonna be able to do because I don't think this computer can handle it. Yeah, this page cannot be displayed, which is fine. We'll just minimize that for now. Okay, look. Look, Juno, online. System information. Information about your computer system. Oh, I'm probably giving all my really important information, so. If you need any of this, just go ahead and take it and, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's look at the connection, the status. Connected at 115,200 beeps, which I think is, somebody told me it's pretty fast. Or it's, I don't know what it is, honestly. But we're connected. We even have the password authentication protocol of TCP slash IP. Today I want to try the Avant browser. I got from... My friend Jot Dot. Help me load this up. I will do, <clears throat> I'll probably do a whole video on this. Or maybe this will be the video. Version 10.2, build 51. Avant. Did you know pressing the CTRL key while opening a new page results in the new page being opened in the background? Wow. Let's see if something comes up on its own. A new version of Avant is available? No. No. Oh, look. I've already got it set up to my home page, which is Wibby, of course. My favorite page. So, there's the beautiful tower. It's powered by Yahoo. I could do a search powered by Yahoo. Let's just hit, uh, let's hit surprise me and see what I get. You asked for it. We're getting some images, I think. I don't, know, I don't think you can open it. That's kind of neat here. It says, it shows the Avant browser down here. You can see. Okay, can't open that page. So let's go back, try again. to be online. Oh good, the causes of Chernobyl accident are known. This is very <laughs> relevant, I guess, to today. The There's the atomic bomb. That's, that's what it looks like inside the atomic bomb. Okay, everything's loading pretty decent. We get this nice picture of the apocalypse heading to a town near you. This site was open 13-5-2006. The last edition was 2011. Oh, the guest book. This page is temporarily inaccessible. Okay, imagine the picture reader. A truck returns from a distant trip with its usual load. Driving up to the terminal point, the driver slams on the brakes, but instead of stopping, the truck sharply accelerates and explodes. 
The explosion is such a force of is of such a force that a building from the reinforced concrete is completely destroyed and all the windows in the surrounding houses shatter. The driver is found guilty because he violated the road traffic travel regulations, <clears throat> which caused the accident. This is how the Chernobyl catastrophe appears in the eye of the general public for 20 years. Okay, I guess that's what the myth is. Let's, uh, the myths of Chernobyl. 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 Our good friends in England and us. Oh, look, this is what happened right here. And the smiley face, which is good. Myth the first. The general initial cause of the Chernobyl accident was an experiment made. Okay, I don't even want to read any of that. You guys can read it. But how was it in reality? Such work was not some experiment, but a functional check of the MPP emergency systems. Okay, guys, make sure you go check out this site and make sure you check it out on dial-up. Okay. Hey, nuclear safety regulations. That would be really interesting. Not. There are almost no registered data about how emergency process proceeded actually in the reactor of Chernobyl. So basically, we don't know what happened, and we never will. Till we die. And then it won't matter. <laughs> okay. Answers to the questions. Let's just get to the answers. Oh, it's done. Oh, there it goes. What role in the Chernobyl emergency did play experiment, whether... There was a cause of accident. F-A-Q. Stands for frequently assumed quotas. Okay. Well, that was really exciting. But I'm ready to go. Let's search. Let's search powered by Yahoo. Let's type home and garden. Oh, Yahoo doesn't work anymore. But we can get some installment loans, two fifty to five thousand. Avant find, Argentini, Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, France, Chile, Colombia, Denmark, Deutschland. How to remove Avant find redirect virus on YouTube. See what happens if I go to Avant Find. Oh, they can't open that page either. And this is why most of the time I go to Wibby because I know it'll work. Wait! Oh my gosh, Avant Find! This is amazing. Oh, a runtime error, of course. Oh my god! handle it. Oh man, that was exciting for a second. Yeah, I'm really sorry about this screen. <clears throat> Last time I did it, I, I didn't have this problem. It's really finicky. Okay. Let's hit surprise me one more time. So it's cool, you, like on a uh, Mozilla Firefox, the newer version, or the newer version of Netscape, you get the W for Wibby right up here in a colorful lavender, purplish, whatever. Surprise me. Oh boy, the Order of Saint Benedict, the Rule of Benedict, arranged by chapter titles. We wish this rule to be read often in the community so that none can offer the excuse of ignorance. 
Today, women monastics outnumber men by more than two to one. Thus, the even number chapters below have been adapted for a woman's community. I hope the women are watching. The odd number chapters are for a men's community such as St. Benedict would have known. Mr. J. Frank Henderson edits. <laughs> oh, <laughs> chapter one on the kinds of monks. It is well known that there are four kinds of monks. Let's, um, so you have these, you have back, forward, up one level, stop, refresh, home, favorites. Let's see what I have in favorites. Laika's door. I really want to try to download a game on here, and I tried one time, but it didn't work. So let's try again. Let me X that out. Okay. Like his door, home to Mega Man fans. Games, home, create. And I'm sorry, I know if you guys have devotedly watched my videos, <laughs> you've seen this website probably for the third time or so. I think it'd just be so, so cool to download a game from here, but the one time I tried it didn't work, but I don't think that was on the, on the Avant browser. Hello there, and welcome to my humble corner of the web. I'm Belika, Laika, and this is where I host the various Mega Man fan games that I've created over the years as loving tributes to the Blue Bomber. I also have a page up for those interested in developing games of their own, so browse around. Play some games and enjoy your stay. This is a cool looking website. Thanks for playing. The last update was 2017, May 27th. Super Danny powered up. Random title. Wow, 13.3 megabytes. It's taking a year to download this. Take control of the Magus, the craziest Mega Man fan alive as you take on Dr. Wily and Robot Masters for Mega Man 1 and 2 in this epic classic series game. Get equipped with power enhancing items, classic character, character costumes, and cross fusions. The ability to change into the Robot Master himself and inherit both his weapon and attributes as you overcome up to 20 levels in various difficulty modes and conquer the 18 challenges. We get some pictures. Okay, there's different versions. Okay, where do... Oh, download. All right, looks like we're about to go to time lapse, people. Okay, it's a zip file. See, I don't know how to open a zip file. I need a program to open it, which I can get from my friend John Thought as well. So maybe I should do that first. See if I can go to my friend Jot Dot here. Do I have him as a favorite? Probably not on the Avant website. Dial up. There we go. Okay, here's his website. Oh, it came up rather nicely here. He has his own dial-up ISP, which I'm not using right now. Instead, I'm paying $29.99 to <laughs> for dial-up internet. Okay, I think he has a link. This makes a dial-up sound, but I don't think it'll work on here. Oh, 
home. Oh, I am home. Uh, projects. 